Ta-da! Today we are going to talk about the Mo concept. Alright, we are going to talk about empirical formula and molecular formula today. So what is empirical formula? Empirical formula shows the simplest ratios whereas molecular formula shows the actual numbers of atoms in a compound. Right. So remember, in order to look for the empirical formula, basically there are three simple steps. Okay. First step is always to look for the percentage or the mass given. Okay. Then followed by number of moles. The formula for empirical formula in number of moles is always standard, okay, which is n equals to m over mr. Then lastly, you look for the ratios. Okay. Okay. You look for the ratios from the number of moles that you obtain. Okay, both number of moles divided by the smallest numbers of number of moles. Right. For example, so you have C and H. Okay. So what's the empirical formula? Same thing is okay. Three simple steps. Okay, first one you look for the percentage of the Elements given, see, percentage C, 88.24, H, 11.76. Next, look for number of moles. Remember, the formula is N equals to M over MR. So, C, 88.4 divided by 12, 11.76 divided by 1. Next, look for the ratios. Can we use the smallest number? So, in this case, 7.35 is the smaller number. So, both the number of moles divided by 7.35. Okay, the ratio you get is 1 to 1.6, but then the ratio must be in the whole number. So, okay, make it into a whole number. So, how can we make it into a whole number? It times 5. So, 1 times 5, you get 5. 1.6 times 5, you get 8. And so, this is the empirical formula. Next, for example, how can you use empirical formula to look for the molecular formulas? Remember, in order to look for molecular formulas from empirical formulas, you need relative molecular mass. So, for example, in this case, the relative molecular mass is 204. So, what is the molecular formulas? So, this is how you look for it. Mathematics. You can look for the N. Okay, so how many times of the empirical formula? So eventually you get n will be 3. So eventually the whole empirical formula is times 3. So you get C15H24. That's it. Thank you.